Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to our channel. For those of you who are new, welcome, my name is Lily. Today we're gonna talk about a comparison between two different tote bags, different in a very, very minimal aspect, um, and it is for the tote bag under the brand for a Lepage. I had a subscriber asking for a comparison review um, between the two different bags, so that's why we're here today. It has been a little while since I posted, I really apologize for that. Um, it's been a little chaotic with work and also with some of the other things that I'm trying to study for, so it's been uh, it's been a little busy <laughs> for the past couple weeks, but I do hope you're all doing very well. Um, for those of you who are new here, if you like the content, please consider subscribing and also giving a like to this video. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for today's video, we're going to talk about the Daily Battle Tote by Ferre Lepage, and these are actually the only two designer totes that I have in my collection. I use them primarily for work purposes because it can house my fairly large laptop. So what we're going to talk about first is this one and you've probably seen this in my past videos when I did the unboxing um, as well but this is the brand Ferre Lepage and as you can see it has this beautiful sort of dragon scales embossed across the entire bag I think um as if it's kind of funny because I was talking with my boss the other day and he was like oh is this a Goyard tote and I was like no 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 it's actually um Ferre Lepage it does have a very similar vibe I believe but I actually I while I personally don't have a Goyard tote, I have heard reviewers talk about it and though it is absolutely beautiful, I'm not sure how um, sturdy it is compared to this uh, brand. So if you have either um, or both actually, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear how you're liking both of them. Um, but yeah, so this is a very, very nice canvas material. I have this in the steel gray. Um, this is what I currently use for my work um, bag. So it's actually quite heavy right now. Um, but this this is the in the size 37 um, and the one that I will do comparison with for the other one is in size 35 and this is the zip tote. I currently have it stuffed here so it looks nicer and is um, maintaining its shape uh, but if you look at both of these notice that you know obviously there is a pretty big there's a pretty big size difference um, and the main difference um, is the zipper on the 35. This one does not have a zipper. Um, so just real quickly notice that there is this really beautiful bright yellow colorway around the edges of the strap. I had that sort of requested so you don't need to have it like that. You could have this tote bag just have be one um, color uh, in, in, in this leather, but I wanted to have a nice contrast here. So I put this on. This also does not come with a 30, um, 37 by itself. You have to add it. And I added this little leather tab here so that it could house my initials or not initial, just the first letter of my name really up here. So I really like that. Um, but it's funny because I was actually looking on the website right now for the 37, just to let you know how much it is currently and how much I paid for this. I paid for this um, $1,200, um, and that's excluding some of the, um, uh, obviously the taxes and whatnot. But this is 1,200, and I purchased this in July of 2021. When I just checked the website right before making this video, it actually isn't on there anymore. So the 37 size that I have is not on there. What they do have is the size 35 and 41, basically same opening, you know, no zip here. And just looking at my paper here real quick, the 35 is now um, $1,490 and the 41 is $1,660. So we all know you know, over the past couple of years, there's been some significant inflation and so the prices have risen. But I think overall, in terms of a um, very well-made luxury handbag, I think the price is fairly reasonable compared to sort of all of the other brands out there. It is certainly still very expensive. It's very steep. By no means am I saying that this is, you know, certainly um, affordable. I certainly saved up a lot just to make sure that I can um, purchase a bag that I will use over and over again. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that in comparison to all the other um, luxury brands out there for a tote this size, this quality, so well made, hand painted scales on, I mean, I think you really can't beat that price out in the market. And also the fact that it's not as ubiquitous as brands like Louis Vuitton um, out there. So anyways, I'm gonna empty this real quick so I can really hold them up and show you what it is like. But just to show you really quickly what I have in here, like I said, I'm using this as a work um, bag. So I do have my 15 inch um, laptop. It fits in here perfectly. The 15 inch laptop also fits in here perfectly. But anyways, just emptying it out real quick. I do have the matching pochette 
that uh, it doesn't come with this. I had to purchase this separately. It was $510 when I purchased it at the time. I think the price has probably also gone up too. I didn't check, but all these items I'm going to talk about that is for a Lepage, I will link in the description box below so you can find it yourself as well. Um, I have some random papers in here, so I'm going to remove that. Um, a little bag. I really like bags housing all of my medication stuff. Um, some Ricola because I do have a sore throat and my bag of um, battery chargers in here. So having emptied out all of that, this is an extremely light, light canvas bag. While I don't have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, I would say that probably from what I've heard um, and seen weight, weight wise, it's very similar. Um, and then when you open this up, it's just a big hole and I don't have an air tie in here. Um, but this is the other main difference between the 37 um, non-zip bag and the 35 zip. So let me just show you this really quick. The 37 non-zip bag, you do have this back pocket that's leather and beautifully embossed with the brand logo. And um, I currently have some sunglasses and a mask in here, which I will take out, but it's a pretty substantially sized um, pocket back here. Um, and that it does not have a zip. Okay. So this is what it looks like. This is the only interior pocket you have in here and the rest of the bag looks like that. Now in terms of the 35 zipped version, and uh, you can also look at this zip. It's also very, very beautiful hardware. Um, if you can see there, I'm going to unzip it very smooth leather. And let me take out my, I do have an organizer. Sorry, I thought I had it stuffed with something else, but it's just an organizer I have in here. So I'm just gonna remove that. And I keep it in here just again to maintain the shape of the bag while I'm not using it. And also extremely, extremely light. Um, but there's a difference in here compared to the 37. So also just one ginormous hole, but on the back, notice that you have this beautiful zip um, compartment here, beautiful hardware here that has the name of Ferrari Lepage um, sort of etched in. Very, very pretty, just like the outer zip. And then you have a fairly substantial little back pocket here. So what's nice about this one is that you have a zipped inner compartment, whereas as we saw earlier for the 37, it is simply a back pocket with no zip and it's leather. So a little different there. And of course, the zipper. So they both have this uh, leather trim feet at the bottom, which I quite like. If you can tell here at the edges, sorry, not the bottom, the edges. And the reason I say that is that it gives it some structure. So it's able to kind of stand on its own for the most part. The bottom canvas, no feet on this one, which is the zip version. And also very similar here, no feet, this one. What I will say is that certainly there is a slight difference, if you can already tell here, between the non-zip version and the zip version. The zip version, I feel, has a lot more structure, definitely more structure to it. So if you like your bag a little bit more structured, um, it can hold its shape, um, not really hold its shape very well, but for the most part, certainly hold its shape a lot better than this one. This is very slouchy. Now, I don't know if it's also because I've had the base shaper in here, but like just feeling, uh, both of these bags right now this one the bottom feels a lot uh like it can hold its own shape whereas this one it's a lot more malleable so again if you're okay with a slouchy look this one would work well for you if you prefer something that's a little bit more structured this one might make more sense now the reason i didn't get this one or I wanted to get this one in a larger size, but I couldn't because this was the larger size in the zip version. I believe it has two versions or two sizes actually, pardon me, for the zip version. The other one is a smaller size. I got the large size they had at that time for the zip version. And I think that's still the case currently today, but I did get them both in the steel gray color. And I don't know why I did that. I think I must've had a brain fart because I could have sworn that I, so I got this, this one first. And then I got this one because I wanted the zip version. And I thought I had gotten this in the navy blue, which is its classic color. But I guess I didn't because here we are with the steel gray color. Um, but yeah, ideally a different color would have been nice. So um, in terms of like usage, I'm using this one uh, right now, not because I have specifically a preference toward it. I just kind of alternate my bags and 
I just, I've just been using this one for whatever reason. I did use this one for a little bit, but I just wanted to change it up. Um, and so I've been using this one for a couple months now consistently. They both have very similar handles. So if you look here, notice that you could adjust the straps. So this is currently shoulder length, but if you wanted to adjust it so that it's a lot shorter and it's more a handheld tote or bag, you definitely have that option on both of them. Um, so maybe you're going to ask me, well, Lily, which one do you like more? I actually like them both a lot, but do I need two of the same color in my collection? Probably not. Um, I, I've actually been wondering if I should, uh, probably resell one of these and get it in a different color or just resell it just because I, I don't know. But again, like I said, I only have two tote bags that are, you know, um, really nice tote bags in my collection. So I don't know if I'm going to uh, resell and get a different one or resell and just not get anyone no idea right now I think they're both great it really just depends on what you're looking for do you like a more structured one do you like one that's more slouchy um, I do like both but like I said it's kind of just dependent on your personal preference I think that the zip one certainly does add uh, more security so if you wanted to take this for traveling I think this is a much better option for sure um, or in general you know just knowing that you have the um, ability to zip it. I know sometimes when I'm driving and I have this on my seat, whether it's the front seat or the back seat, and I like really quickly um, hit the gas, um, or not the gas, but the uh, the other brake pedal, it can like slide forward. And when it slides forward, if it's not zipped, all my contents just fall on the ground. So that's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, I think in general, zip versions probably are, you know, more practical for folks. But uh, this one, I can't complain either. I think it's a beautiful bag. And I especially like this one because of the trim. Um, I had to, like I said, I had to pay extra for this. But what's really nice is that you can customize your bag with Ferrari La Poche, not just with initials, but also with other types of metals um, and things. So I, I really like that aspect of it. But certainly this one, both of these bags, they can fit a lot. Like I said earlier, this one also fits um, a 15 inch laptop just to demonstrate for you really quickly. Laptop. And you stick it in, and there is still so much room. See that, which is really, really quite nice. Um, yeah, but do make a note though, like obviously the more you put in a tote bag, the heavier it becomes. Um, but in and of itself, I think these are really great tote bags because they're really light, has been, the quality has been great. I think it's very um, easy to, to match with, whether you're going a little casual or you're going a little bit more sophisticated. Um, they come in many different colors. So really, again, up to your preference. But yeah, I'm really enjoying these bags um, since, I've been, uh, since I purchased it. So anyways, I hope that quick comparison was helpful for you all. Um, and if you enjoyed it, like I said, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Um, I think in the next couple videos that I'm gonna do, probably we'll be doing sort of like a, um, Bay's uh, bag review, all the Bay's bags that I've gotten. Kind of excited um, to talk about that, but just haven't had time to kind of um, put together or I've just been a little tired. But anyways, I'll stop blabbing. Um, as always, thank you so much for dropping by, taking some time out of your busy day and watching this video it means a lot to me. Um, and as always, please stay healthy, happy, and safe, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.